Hi, I'm Emily Epp, Manager of Communications here at the Caribou Regional District. We just wanted to give you a bit of a tour and explanation of what an Emergency Operations Centre is. So here we are in our Caribou Regional District Emergency Operations Centre. We're based and uh, set up here in our CRD boardroom uh, in Williams Lake. Um, we first opened our Emergency Operations Centre on July the 6th, which means that we've been open for over 40 days now. Um, interestingly, we've actually uh, had over well, we've had 154 people come through our EOC here to help us out. Um, we're really grateful for all the support that we've had. That includes about 43 CRD staff members, uh, 27 community members have come in from different communities around the Caribou to help us out. We've also had people come in from other local governments throughout the Caribou, including the City of Williams Lake, the City of Cornell, as well as some local First Nations. We've also had people come from all over the province, including places like Maple Ridge, Nanaimo, Fort St. John, West Kelowna, Delta, um, the Regional District of Fraser, Fort George, and many others. We've even had a couple people come from Alberta. So we're just, uh, we've been here, like I said, over 40 days. We're just super thankful for all the support, um, the people who've been able to come help us out as we are addressing the emergency here in the Caribou. Um, so just a bit of an explanation, um, whenever an emergency happens, local governments, um, including the provincial government, activates Emergency Operations Centre, for short, that's EOC, uh, to help coordinate the response. And there's different levels of EOCs depending on the emergency, so if it was a really small emergency, you wouldn't see this many people here, but uh, because it's been going on for so long, we do have a lot of support helping us out. Um, our system is based on the Incident Command System, which is an internationally used system uh, that brings a consistent approach across emergency response. So that's why we can bring in extra support from places all around BC. Um, that's why uh, the Caribou Fire Center can bring in extra support from other provinces and even around the world um, because we all use the same system, which means we can all be more coordinated in our emergency response. So. Um, I'm just going to give you a bit of a tour here and, and let you know what we're seeing around the room. So around the room you'll see a lot of different information on the walls, uh, including some maps showing fire, fire perimeter data, evacuation orders and alerts. We've got uh, satellite images of fire activity on the wall. We've got contact info for organizations. Um, as well as the news, just to help us uh, stay up to date. Um, and then filling the seats, we've got a variety of different roles, and we all wear colored vests so that you can, so that we all know what section they're a part of. So we have our uh, EOC director section. They wear green, and uh, they're responsible for the overall management and running of the emergency operations section. Under their section falls the public information and as well as our agency liaisons, which we'll touch on following. Um, in gray, we have finance, and they keep track of all of the financial things, uh, making sure that people get paid and everything is tracked. In logistics section, wears a yellow vest, and they are the getters of everything. They get all the gear, food, people, and materials that we need. Uh, after that, we have operations. They help coordinate all our operations in support of the emergency response, such as helping to coordinate with volunteer fire departments, and they also uh, do a lot with our permitting. Uh, in blue, we have planning section, and they collect and evaluate all the information. They keep track of all our records, and they sort of do our forward planning. So they think through the what ifs and uh, help us have a plan in place. Uh, uh, over in our section over here, we also have public information, and uh, that's my job as well as my team. We help keep you guys informed. Um, also around the room, we have all our agency liaisons. So right now, we have liaisons including First Nations liaison. Uh, we have a liaison with the Caribou Fire Center, uh, Ministry of Transportation. We have RCMP liaisons. We have Ministry of Agriculture representatives, BC Cattlemen's representatives, and Interior Health. And through the scope of this emergency, we've also had a lot of different other agencies helping us out, keeping those connections and lines of communication open between us and their, uh, their agency, including Red Cross, Fortis BC, Spectra, CN Rail, Ministry of Environment, uh, Central Caribou Search and Rescue, and many others. So that's just a bit of an overview of how an emergency operations center work. Uh, we really appreciate all your support and uh, as we've been uh, addressing this emergency and we're really proud and pleased to be here to help you out and help the caribou respond to this emergency.